You know, I just never get tired of it. It's just absolutely gorgeous up here. Listen to the water. Isn't that great? Last night while I was uh, in bed, I was thinking um, about what I was going to do this morning uh, for breakfast and realized that I used up all the butter or ghee last night. So I was planning on making an omelet this morning and, um, well, I don't need oil or butter. I do have a nonstick pan, so uh, it might be interesting. Coffee. See that for later. There's the ghee. Pretty much all gone. It might be a little... No. It's gone. Uh, let's see. Salt and pepper. And I brought some vegetables to cook in the omelet. I think I'm going to grill those up first. Chili pepper roasting there. Last night I um, went down to the Stanislaus River. I also ran out of water. So I grabbed some water last night and filtered it and put it in here. So we're going to use that for the coffee this morning. Good thing we were close to a you know water source. Let's get these grilling up here for a little bit. Oh, it already looks good, doesn't it? Look at that. Now this this uh, cutting board I have here is, is one of those. Uh, I guess it's a it's not really Dalaran, It's some kind of plastic, but um, or nylon probably. Uh, meant for kitchens. It comes in big sheets, and I just cut it down and put the frying pan over it. Cut it in a circle so it would fit down inside the frying pan. Some green onions. Cut some bacon. What are we doing here? Those are looking good. All right. Now I didn't cook bacon this time. I actually brought, I cooked the bacon at home, and uh, stored it. But uh, a lot of times I'll just go ahead and cook bacon while I'm out here. But today I decided just not to do that. I love bacon. It's pork candy. It's so good. So good. All right. Set that off to the side and see what we're doing here. Those grilled peppers. Oh, those are so good. And when it's all done, see all that black stuff right there? You get that. You stick it in a pot or a bag, or I'm going to cover it with this lid and let it seep for a little bit. And what happens is it the juices all run up in there and it turns that a little bit soggy. So you can peel that off, and that works pretty good. I did a, an Anaheim pepper the other day, which is the longer green ones, and I did a couple of them, and boy, they came out so good. I guess you could put them in a Ziploc bag. I just stuck them in the bowl here and uh, for about half an hour. And um, they came out perfect. It was, make, it was making a, a mole thing. I think these are probably good. What's our pepper doing? Oh, yeah, that's looking good. Let's take these off and stick them in here for a second. There's a few bugs out here this morning. Not as bad as last night. Now there was these biting bugs. They were, like, biting. They would actually draw blood. I don't even know what those were. But um, I always bring, like, a citronella candle. Actually, it was my wife's idea. Um, it's just a simple citronella candle, light it up. Works actually pretty good. Doesn't take up a lot of room. And uh, we know somebody who has chickens, and so I always try to get really fresh eggs. I think the, um, the eggs you get in the grocery store are probably already maybe even two weeks old already by that time. And so since we're not going to be refrigerating them, uh, fresh eggs will last for a few days and not refrigerated. So I try to get them as fresh as possible, like the day before <laughs> I go. And so just carefully wrapped them up here and let's see if they made the trip. Looks like they did. Looks like they totally made the trip. Well, 
Like I said, I don't know how this is going to work without having any butter or ghee, but or oil or anything. Um, it might be a total mess, and we might, but I don't know. I'll eat it anyway. All right, let's put these guys in here. salt and pepper in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix those holes for sure. That pepper's not coming out fast enough. Let's get that all mixed up. Let's see if we can get this warm. And here's going to be the big, uh, big unknown. <laughs> Let's see if this works. There. Is that pepper or did something fall in there? Huh. A little extra protein maybe. Yeah, it's like that what that might be. Oh, you know what else I brought? I brought cheese. Yeah. Almost forgot about that. So usually like hardened cheese harder cheese, this is a hard uh, English uh, white cheddar. Uh, they travel pretty good. I just keep them wrapped in cheesecloth. Um, that way they don't sweat. I guess that's why they call it cheesecloth. So let's get some, get some cheese going here. I mean, if the eggs don't work out, well, I'll just have cheese and bacon. That's still going to be a good breakfast for me. That looks like enough, huh? Yeah, there we go. Let's wrap that guy back up. We'll use him later. I'm actually going to have some of this and some of that sausage we had from last night, probably for lunch today. Uh, there's a river I want to check out. Check out that's um, all snow runoff, and it's supposed to be running pretty fast today. I heard, so I want to go check it out and see if I can get some footage of that. How's our fire doing? Oh yeah, we're ready. Okay, here goes nothing. Simmer ring on that guy so we don't burn up, up too much. Put cheese on there. There we go. Oh, I guess we could put the bacon on there for sure. I just can't forget that. Let's put the bacon on there. Some green onions. More bacon. Yeah, you can't have too much bacon, can you? Not really. Too much bacon, too much cheese. Not possible. It's good. All right. Let's see how these guys are doing. All right. I don't know what kind of mushrooms these are. These aren't the white. I think they're called porcini mushrooms, maybe. I'm not sure. too fast just because of the um, lack of mm -hmm. butter. This might become a scramble. That might be what we're making today. We might just be making a scramble. We just got to kind of make do. There we go. Get enough tomato. Now comes the chili pepper. Now these are not hot. They're, they're more like sweet peppers, I guess. They are good. See, there's not even any seeds in there, so they can't be can't be that hot.
<laughs> I already can tell this is going to be a scramble. Oh, it does look good already. I hope I have enough, it looks like I'll have enough fuel over to make coffee. Now, it's interesting, on the coffee, um, you know, I was talking about Louis the Brussels sprouts being from Louisiana. Well, Brussels, but somehow it had a Louisiana connection. Um... Like I said, I was in, uh, we were in um, uh, New Orleans last week, and I picked up a can of the ch coffee with chicory at Cafe, the famous Café du Monde. So I brought some of that today, and we're going to try that out. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. No, maybe not. Look at that. Hmm. Might get lucky. You know, I think I'm gonna put a little more cheese on there. Is that is that bad? <laughs> is, that, is that getting greedy? Put a little more cheese on there. I think that'll be a good idea. And just get some right on there. Maybe the oils from the cheese will help keep the egg from sticking. I don't know. I might get lucky on this. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I think we did. I think we did. Boy, this pan has turned out to be pretty amazing. A little hole there. got a little thin. The um, the fresh eggs are, are a little bit smaller. Um, probably about a third smaller than the ones you get, you know, eggs you get in the store. So, for what I would normally be like a two egg omelet, I'd take three of the fresh eggs. See if I can save, salvage this one. Oh, get over there. I knew it was, I was close. All right, I'm still going to eat it. All right, well, that's cooking up a little bit. We'll get some water going for some coffee. Yeah, the water's a little, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little tint of green. I, trust me, I've already tasted this. It tastes fine. I filtered it. It tastes fresh. It tastes really good. Um, just don't look at it. I think it's probably good for coffee, right? It's a little, little green. An algae or something. Yeah, it's like tea. <laughs> All right. Let's get this down. Put this guy up here. Get this going. Make some coffee. All right. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Not bad for camping. Okay. So, yeah, we'll clean that up later. Yeah, I have a big bucket of water that I, uh, or thing of water I brought up, so I'll use to clean all the pots and pans with uh, this morning before I leave. Coffee filter in here. There we go. All right, that's that uh, ca coffee and chicory. And I guess the chicory is a root, um, and it's from an endive plant. So like kind of like endive lettuce. So it's same family. And then uh, the chicory they grind up and put the coffee in. It tastes like coffee. It actually, tastes really good but it doesn't have any caffeine in it. So 
that's okay. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just gonna make one cup. What are we doing here? Oh, come along, it's fine. It's boiling up. So we'll set that up right here. All right, well, I'm gonna dig into this omelet and um, somewhere. <laughs> Where did my fork go? Oh boy. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna dig into this omelet and I'll, I'll uh, come back when we get the coffee ready to go. Boy, that does look good, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, I hear the um, water boiling, so I think we're, we're done there. Put that simmer ring on there. I think that's pretty much done. This chicory coffee. So chicory coffee became a thing in France in uh, 1808 when Napoleon had the continental uh, blockade and uh, that's when they started mixing it in there and eventually you know, as France came over and, and uh, to the French colonies, uh, again, in Louisiana, that's how we, we got it back there. Um, I guess that was probably, hmm, I'm trying to think when they said that was. But they, again, because of the blockades, they didn't have coffee. They couldn't get coffee. And so they started just mixing the chicory. They exported, exporting chicory and eventually growing it there in, the, in Louisiana. So, again, during the Civil War, when, when coffee became hard to get a hold of, they just fell back to what they knew. And today, uh, because of tradition, you can still get uh, coffee and chicory mixed together. I think it's, it's, it's really a treat. I'm going to try, you know, I was thinking about doing like a Turkish coffee thing, but when I, when I realized that we could, uh, they came across this, I was like, wow, we, we got to bring some of that out here. So, anyway, we'll see how that is. Here we go. Let's not make a mess. All right. See, you can't even tell it was green water, can you? Oh, yeah, it's delicious. Boy, this turned out to be a pretty good breakfast this morning. What a way to start the day. Can't wait to get on the bike today and uh, head back out. It's going to be fun.